Welcome back you beautiful people, another quick bow review. I got a nice box, this time it's not my bow, it's the bow for Frederick. He ordered it from Chaba Goza and he writes here open, so you know where you have to open it. It's the Indo-Persian in Biolaminated and you will say, wait a second, didn't he review the Indo-Persian? Yes he did, he had the X-Carbon version. And then he tested the full carbon version. And today we will have a look at the biocomposite version. And I have to make this video because I need to send them this bow quickly along so Frederick can have his bow. Right? It's always nice when people think of me and think, oh look, you didn't review this bow. It doesn't look that it's open here or it sits as if me. Huh? Oh, now. Nice. So, so it's from Grosje, the Indo-Persian bow, biocomposite, has a length strong of 50 and a half inches, unstrung 57 and a half, a bracelet of 6.5 eighths of an inch. I think the bow is 45 pounds, you can have it from 30 to 60, max draw is uh, 32. Oh, and this is how you get your bow, see, and the price of the biocomposite version. Oh, very well packed, look at this. The price is 460 euros. And we have here a piece of paper. There is a string and there is the invoice and there is of course our instruction manual as we know it. There are two strings I guess, maybe he got an extra string. I guess he ordered it. Makes always sense to get directly a second string. So we leave one in. Interesting, huh? So this can go back in the box. The string we leave here. Look how nice it's packed, huh? So this one goes for now back in the box. So this is how you get your bow from Grosa Bow. Oi. So this we put here. Yeah, so we don't need this one anymore. Hoo ha! In the morning I had to fix my backstop. The wind was broke it. So you get the nice sleeve, obviously. And then you get the oh, 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 with the paint job. Whee! Look at the pretty bow. So I guess the paint job is extra then. So 460 most probably is the base price. And then wow! I need to show you directly. Of course we're here, look at this, nice ears, and look at this nice paint shop here. Oh, oh, pretty, huh? So nice. So you can get some really nice stuff from Chava. And it's not only nice, it's well performing. It's 45 pounds. Nice, huh? That looks good. Feels good. Length and all this yada yada I gave you already. Arrow pass, yeah, has an arrow pass too of 25 ish millimeters of an inch. It's fine too. Who cares? Nobody. No. <laughs> hmm. So. It's the top one, and where the poundage is written is the top of the bow. So it's in the knob groove, string looking good. Let's see what we get here. You. Cube, so. That was not so bad, and now we check quickly. But look at this out of the box. Not much to correct on this bow. So well built. <laughs> and it looks awesome. A little bit maybe, yes, uh, but you know, it's what you get when you have a biocomposite. Awesome. <coughs> Brace height, I guess, is fine too. Do I need to measure all this stuff? Nah, come on. Seven and a half should be six and five eighths, but it might go down a little bit later. There's another string in it, so you order two extra strings, okay. So I use now an extra string of yours, it's fine. 
Patrick. I think you have no problem with that. Boy, it's nice. You have here a nice reinforcement under the knock. Pretty. You want another weight? Okay, I can tell you. You want an. Oh, look, 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 let's see. So, this is the X carbon version. And I put now the composite behind you see more aggressive sears length kind of like the same handle well, it's covered so you can't tell I put it in front and you can see it like this in front you have the which is quite more massive holy cow so when you see then the you see the limbs the, the width is still the same, but look at the thickness of the limb. There you see then the difference. You see that? Brilliant. And we have here... Yeah, Kazan is not so... I don't know if you call it Kazan on a bow like this. It's not so much difference here from the length. Has only here a little long and more... You see the, the your composite has a little longer, a bit different shaped end here. I like this a bit more, but that's me. And then only the sear angle, you see that is slightly different. Now that was the cross carbon, uh, the, the X carbon. And this is now the full carbon version. Same, same. Sear angle is slightly different. For the rest, almost the same bow. And the same here, look at the width of the limbs, uh, the thickness of the limbs. Handle is kind of like almost, ooh, lucky me, look at this. Kind of like the same. Yeah, there's not so much difference. Brilliant. I like all of them, I have to admit. So now let's see again the, which I really like. This this full carbon. That's just sweet. The X carbon draws nice too. But now, dun dun dun, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is forty five pounds. This is 39, and this is 39. It's six pounds heavier, but you barely feel it when you draw it. Wow, that's brilliant. You want to know the weight difference? Okay, fine. It's only because I have the scale here. The, 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 you call it scale? I think so. Only if it works. It's so still a little fresh here. Kilograms. So then we start with the X carbon, but you could watch my video, you know. 385. The, the full carbon. Three ninety, so it's same. And the biocomposite might be a little heavier. Now we should reset it first time. <laughs> yeah, I know. 500. Still fine. It's a biocomposite. Thank you schön. So, what's left? Yeah, it's just like oh, good stiff. It's like all the biocomposite bows. You, you don't go wrong with any of them, so. This one here is way more stiff torque-wise. The, the full carbon and the X carbon. Can you go away now? This one is the most flexible here. Oh, and here it's quite flexible compared to the full carbon. This one is here already stiffer, but in this direction totally stiff. And this one, it's a little more smooth and it's just in between these two so 
it's not as torque resistant as the full carbon, but more torque resistant than the X carbon, I would say, in my, you know, uh, unexperienced, what have you. So I don't know the minimum grain of for the arrows, but I guess 8, 9 grain will be fine. We are 45. At 28 means 50 and a bit. I have 400 grain arrows and 360 grain arrows. <laughs> Let's shoot. Because people always complain I don't shoot with thumb ring. Why doesn't he use a thumb ring today? I use a thumb ring. This is the 3D printed one from Hannes. I showed you last time. It's a really nice one. I shoot the destroyers, they are 400 grain, I think. So let's see. String is a little thin for this one, for the knock. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so once I get to full draw, I can tell you something. Bam! This draw is nice. It's a little heavy and it needs, of course, a few shots to break in. <laughs> I shoot now one arrow each of all the, the X carbon, the full carbon on this one. The X carbon, which I still just like the design of this one. It's an awesome bow. So, of course, it's not the poundage, it's a 39 pound, as said. And the strings are a little thin for these knocks again, but it's, you get used to it. Oh, I didn't shoot this one for a while. Oh, springy. The full carbon, which is just an awesome piece. The full carbon. I think I put the string. The string is wrong. The string is wrong. The serving looks now better. It's just this carbon design. It's not mine, but this bow is awesome. Now it looks better. Yeah. So. Draws definitely nicer than the X carbon. And then a bio composite for less than 500 euros, guys. Oh, it's more strong. And needs to, needs still a few shots. So for now, I'm with the full carbon. So I'd see a little distance and I switch now to leather thumb protection. Oh, my shaft is broken. Oy, oy, oy. Not my, uh, the arrow shaft, <laughs> just in case, you know. Jesus Christ, this is a nice bow. And it's just the right poundage. Now look at this. <laughs> oh, wow. Nah, really. I scratched now a little your leather, but you see, you have to. You see that? Out of the box, a group is his chest. There is something magic in this bows. And all the horn bow builders will. Oh, it's awesome. Frederick, you will love this bow. <coughs> Let's see quickly 400 grain and a bit more than 50 pounds. Don't be so picky. That was not full draw, 194. <laughs> There's nothing you could wish more, 180. Oh, 189. Oh, this is such an awesome bow. And pretty. I mean, if you like this paint stuff, you don't have to. But if you like it, you can have it. Wow. That's just an incredible bow. Let's see now a bit torque in Katra that we don't ruin his arrow pass too much. Wow. Nice feel, nice control of this bow. Yep. <laughs> this 
this. <laughs> I like this book. This bow performs nice even in 30 inch draw, so it's not a problem. So if your draw is a little shorter, like here, it's already nice. But <laughs> back there is where the music plays. Awesome. Frederick, that's a bow. Nice one. And Katra, and, oh, she, she just works. Fine. Everything with this bow is just fine, feels right. You get feedback from the bow, you instantly have confidence with this bow. So I could go now directly on a 3D parkour and I would do decent. <laughs> Me. It's an incredible bow. It's sturdy. It's not too twisty here. And it draws just nice. Really nice. Did I shoot my tripod now? Yes, of course. That's a bow. So, Chaba, thank you very much for sending it to me. I will put it now back in the box and send it to Frederick so he has something nice to shoot. Incredible bow. So, this bio composite is just has something. And you know what, guys? If there's a screw in or not, I really don't care because it does not make any difference, if you mind. There are many bow builders that make screws, but I think we don't have screws anymore. But there are guys that do x-rays of bows to see if there's a screw or not. <sighs> so, last shot. Ah, it's just to warm up. Awesome bow. Top. Thank you very much, you two, to make this happen so that I could test your bow. Now I had all versions from the cross carbon to the full carbon to the bio composite. What is next? A real composite. <laughs> I know. That's all I have for you today. I wish you, if you celebrated, a happy Christmas time. And then, of course, if you think about this, this popish calendar that the 1st of January is at the beginning of a new year. A happy new year for you. And for the rest, just have fun, live day by day, live in the moment and be happy. Thank you all for an amazing year. For all my courses I had everywhere, it's just I met so many incredible people. For next year, we have already a lot of courses going on. So check on my website for the courses. Book yourself in if you want to meet me and if you want to see how I teach people. And for the rest, you're all just awesome. And never forget, we all shoot bow and arrow. So 
stop these fightings and these arguments. It doesn't matter which bow you shoot and which arrow and which technique and what. In just go out and shoot. Be peaceful and have a good time. Thank you very much.